Brain Foo, random stimulation for the brain. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to mix fiberglass resin if you've never done that before and how to clean your kit afterwards. This is a low cost polyester resin, just like the one I used in my project. And on the side or in the instructions, you will find one of these, a catalyst ratio and curing time chart. You can add the catalyst or hardener at any ratio from one to 4% and I'd always recommend using the least amount of catalyst indicated unless the weather is very cold, but no less than the minimum or it won't cure and you don't want that. Make sure that you're outside like me or somewhere well ventilated. Now wearing gloves and full wrap around eye protection, very important, pour out as much resin as you require. Here I will be working in litres because that's what it states on the side of the instructions. Pour the resin into a plastic measuring jug and never mix more than you can use in say five to 10 minutes. Remember, you can always mix more. Here I'll be mixing a small 500 milliliter batch to make life easy. And when you're done, place the lid back on the resin so it can't get knocked over. I'm now going to draw up five milliliters of catalyst into this syringe because 1% of 500 is five. With the catalyst squirted into the resin, it's just a job of mixing it. Any sort of clean wood or plastic will do, as long as it has flat sides for a thorough and complete mix. Make sure you get into the sides as well as the bottom. And there you go, a fiberglass resin mix ready for work, simple as that. And if you do need more resin, remixing in the same jug is possible without any problems, as long as it hasn't got any lumps in it. If you've been using a consolidating roller, place that in a shallow container of acetone and rinse it thoroughly. When you've completed your project or taken any sort of long break, consumables like old roller heads or brushes can be placed into any leftover mix and left to cure. And in about half an hour, it should be at the perfect stage of cure for easy cleaning. Simply turn over your container, apply some gentle pressure to the base and the old resin should just peel out, leaving your container ready to fight another day. Well, that brings this short video to an end. To see what other projects I have, click the links provided here, the iCards or in the description bar. And if you want to see the exact type of fiberglass resin and kits I use, I've provided links for that too in the description bar. I hope this video's helped with your project. Why not consider subscribing while you're here? Thanks for watching.